I'll take you for a ride on the devil ship. I'll take you for a ride where you sink or swim. Now come with me and let this story begin. We got uh, Arthur Sim in studio. Arthur Sim Jr., uh, you were supposed to be here with our good friend Josh Shapiro, who is in a ditch somewhere right now sleeping. He got violently drunk. I assume. This is all the things that I'm assuming. Were you with him last night? or I think he was doing that Jewish show. Yeah, he was at the Purim show. It, was that in Montreal? Ottawa. Ottawa. Okay, maybe that's why the drive back got to him. Mm. Even though I don't think he drives. I think someone drove him back. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard being a passenger princess nowadays. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's it's very hard for Josh to wake up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll, I'll call him and he doesn't pick up. And I know that he's still sleeping because it's early. It's like uh, 2 p.m. And uh, then he'll reply to me at 3 p.m. And I'll be like, oh, it's good. He's like, what, bro? <laughs> I want to sleep. I'm not like you. <laughs> like, I'm the problem. <laughs> He's fucking amazing. I told that's, how, that's how his uh, ancestors probably survived uh, the Holocaust. They were late to the, the, the trains. <laughs> you th- I, I bet you that was funnier in your head. You're like, I'm just going to say Holocaust is going to be something. It's, it's still funny to me. <laughs> is, this your, is this your Twitter? Who's this old lady with her tits out? Oh, it's, uh, oh she oh, gets decked. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's all... My Twitter is all fights, uh, whores, uh, and conspiracy theories. <laughs> my life. It's my regular life. Oh, that's the thing I posted. The Metro. Pilot project to reduce the number of used syringes in the Metro. Wow. Not not to stop them from existing, just the used sure, ones. Sure. So that's called a janitor. <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's what the pilot project is, is getting another janitor. And I didn't know that we have such a big problem now. Right. With uh, heroin use within the metro system. Yeah. Well, it's also reduce, not eliminate. I mean, I don't think we're allowed to eliminate them anymore. They're going to cause a whole fuss. Wish we could. Wish we could. Sick of them. Can you get rid of... Can you kill people Poseidon? What do like you mean? for drug... Can you... Has there ever been a country... Oh, there was. Philippines. Malaysia. That was drug dealers, though. As well. Malaysia. They'll, yeah. Any... um, Just any weed on you, you're, you're dead. It's a death, death sentence. sentence. Yeah. Wow. For weed. Yeah. Yeah. The My buddy Sean left because he, he just. He went to he Malaysia. He die. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he left from Malaysia. Yeah. What was he doing in Malaysia? Uh, well, he was born there. Sean Poa. Shout out. Shout out. And uh, yeah, big acid head, big, big pot guy. And uh, yeah, just. Hard to find that stuff. Impossible. In Malaysia. Yeah. How did he become big Impossible. in it? Uh, I don't know. He had bipolar. He he was a little unstable. He was looking for something to try to balance the levels. Okay. He tried the uh, what, what's the main one for bipolar? There the uh, uh, what's the medication? Lithium. Yeah, yeah, lithium. And that sent him into mania. So uh, yeah, he tried uh, acid. Hulkamania or WrestleMania? It was Hulkamania. Okay. It was Hulkamania. He started hulking up at the airport. Oh yeah, dude. It sent him into <laughs> it sent him into mania. He started leg dropping people. Yeah. <laughs> and his sent, hair blonde. Yeah, it sent him into Hulkamania. That's how he became a real American. Yeah. And he came right. down this way. I like it. Yeah, man. I like where your head's at, sir. Yeah, hey, sure. Poseidon, bring up yes. what I had sent you the on, on Twitter. I sent you a DM. And the reason why I'm telling you bring it up is because I forgot what I sent you, but I remember I wanted to talk this about one? it. Um what are the last oh yeah, that's it, the Montreal Gazette one. Click on it. Click on it. Oh, the it? doctors, yeah. Remember we talked about this a bit? Yeah. So Quebec doctors apparently signed an open letter demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. Uh-huh. And and go back to that photo, Poseidon, which is the silence thing. Yeah, oh, I thought we were already showing it to them. So this was in the Gazette. I didn't make this up. I got to go manually, that's why. A lot of people, when we don't show the photos, they believe that we're just talking out of our ass, but it's all oh, from the I internet. See, I see. Um, so yeah, Poseidon, I don't know if you want to... You want me to read it? Uh, no, no, bring up the photo, the one before that they used. Go down, the one they used for the image, the silence one. Go back. Go to your uh, Twitter. Uh. It pops up there. Yeah, remaining silent in the face of suffering of this magnitude is contrary to our role as physicians and a f- forsaking of our shared humanity. Now, this is 460 Quebec doctors that said this, Okay. What I find uh, hilarious is that 460 Quebec doctors said that this is inhuman. We have to talk. When things are happening and it's not right, we got to talk. Uh-huh. But they didn't do it during the whole pandemic. Yeah. During the whole pandemic, yeah. they shut the fuck up and didn't do it. But now they're like, nah, nah, this is going to get clicks. Right, <laughs> sure. This is going to sure. get clicks. So it's not about what's right or wrong. Yeah. It's about yeah. what the majority of people are going to pat you on the back. Yeah, sure. Over. 
It's fucking so stupid. Yeah, Poseidon, go, go back to the doctors. Let's see what they're up to. I've got a few problems with that. <laughs> One, more than 460. Say the number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It could be 463. What's the problem? Just say yeah. it. 463. Also, it's, it's like these fucking white women in Laval in the metros <laughs> protesting. What the fuck? Yeah, what are you doing? What? Nothing else has worked for centuries. Nothing has worked. And fucking 400 doctors in Quebec are going to solve this, uh, this, this crisis? Fucking, oh, my God. I mean, that's f- so funny. Yeah, nothing else has worked. Yeah, this is what they were... They, they needed Jean-Claude and Sylvain to get together, <laughs> high five, and be like, we need a ceasefire. They can't even figure out their emergency rooms. Yeah, people are giving birth out in the streets, and this is what they're fucking focused on. <laughs> so stupid, fuck. And I agree, there should be uh, ceasefires, but it's not going to be for me protesting. This is so big, the money that's behind everything that's yes. happening, it's not going to be me. Yes, it's yeah. like the recycling thing. Now it's yeah. five hundred. Ninety nine percent of greenhouse emissions are from these huge fucking corporations, but I have to recycle. Not just I you have to, to sort recycle. The shit in the fuck. You sort through shit for nothing. It all goes to the same place. Yes. And I've been saying it for years. There was a mini documentary that came out that I would show people and be like, "Oh, this is conspiracy." No, 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 no. Even though I think it was, uh, it came from like CBC or something. Mm. And then now you saw I sent you the link uh, three days ago. Yeah, <laughs> and I lived it. I, yeah, yeah. I worked as a janitor. It, it, there's oh, a link. Yeah, 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 they did a whole thing. They go, uh, um, I think Valuetainment was talking about how they go, it's all bullshit. Yeah. It's all bullshit. Yeah. It goes to the same place. And I've seen it in places in practice where there's these huge containers and they have the, the dividers, plastic, mm-hmm. whatever. And then when you lift it up, it, it's all <laughs> one yeah, thing. Yeah, I've yeah. seen those. I've seen yeah, those. but people are, that's the thing. People are dumb. They just, even if they see it, it's very much... Um, uh, it's very much like the old movies. Like I remember, Chicken was a Chicken Run, where they just can't, they just don't know what. Like they won't accept reality, mm-hmm. even though it's mm-hmm. in front of them. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, it's it's right there. I'm telling you, this fucked up. I don't want to believe it. Yeah. I don't know yeah. how that helps. Living a delusion. I I know that a good delusion is fun, but why is a good delusion better than a bad reality? At least if you live within reality, you could actually try to change things. But if you live in the delusion, you can't change shit. Right. Uh oh. Rats it's abound. Montreal's Park X residents frustrated at growing problem. But you know why? The, that's the wrong image. In Park X, when we talk about rats, bro, and we're tired of them, we're talking about something else. Uh oh. <laughs> that's an interesting question. The thing about realities and delusions, though, that's, yeah. There's something to it that I, I keep seeing people that they love being in the delusion, they love being in, in the fake, and like, no, I'm happy just pretending like this is the way things are. Mm-hmm. But they're not, though. So why would we lie? I don't know. I, you're here for like maybe 70 years. So why uh, just enjoy the real thing? And ha- you can, cause you can still enjoy and have fun within the real thing instead of right. like then if you, uh, if you lie the whole time and you live in a delusion, then the whole experience is kind of for nothing. You didn't really live the human experience. Right. But, and they right. do it for everything. They fuck with people. I noticed Trump last week with the bloodbath thing. Did you see that Poseidon? No. Dude, he said bloodbath. So they lost their fucking minds on him and they said he's calling for violence. Mm. Because he goes, because he was talking about the auto manufacturers. He goes, if we if we don't win and we don't, oof, it's gonna be a bloodbath for them because they're gonna get destroyed. They're not gonna. Right. So they use that as they said. He said bloodbath, which equates to he wants violence. But when you take the whole clip in context, you see what he's talking about. He's talking about the auto manufacturers, he's not yeah, talking about violence. Right. But even here in Quebec, there's this one guy. He works for the press. I keep seeing his tweets. Dude, this guy works in Quebec. He's French for Quebec. His whole Twitter background the past three weeks has just been Trump bloodbath. Mm. That's all. It's like, dude, you're a French guy in Montreal. You can't vote. Right. What are you doing? Why is it? And it's all, he said bloodbath. He wants violence. They want violence. They want violence. They want violence. It's like, but if you put it into context, that's not it. So why are we keep spewing? It's just crazy. People are that's living in this stupid. wild delusion. Yeah, but it makes them happy, I think. It makes them happy. They're like, we, we all hate one guy right together. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that's beginning to hate democracy, Poseidon. Hey, sure. But it's not sure. democracy. No, no, I'm beginning to hate democracy. You know why? I realized something. Okay, that's, I've seen that before. Oof, I think that's fake. I don't like that at what all. What is that? Uh, it's oh, the steroids God. they pumped it. I don't think so, bro. You know what? You know what that looks like to me? What? That looks like uh, air pressure. Someone's pushing uh, air on top of oh, it. Oh yeah. yeah. But that's uh, we we're talking about recycling. My buddy worked at a recycling plant, and they could get like a ton, like an actual ton of recycling in one used condom. Garbage. Can't use it. What? You, well, yeah, you're the not going to reuse the condom. Hell. Oh, yeah, it's true. You could, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if there's one used condom in the whole thing? Yeah, any 
Because they don't have time. They don't have time to sort this shit out. So if they find just one item in the batch that they can't recycle, they chuck the whole thing into a landfill. So what do we... You know, I didn't even know that. fucking doing this work? And people are putting electric drills into the recycling. They're setting fire to these, these recycling plants. It's... it's Wait, fucking mess, dude. Hold on a second. So these recycling plants are accidentally blowing up? Yeah, man. This one, is crazy. One electric drill. That's all it takes. That's I didn't crazy. know that. It's just fucking in flames. Holy shit. And you know what's funny besides? I've seen electric drills in my recycling bins, like at the building. Oh, that's I funny. had seen one. Someone <laughs> just chuck it in. And I had I was looking. I was like, I don't know. Because I know some of it is plastic. I, I don't know if this goes in here. It's kind of like batteries. You're not supposed to throw batteries in there. No. Uh, not good. God but damn. that's that reality delusion thing you're talking about, where we're trying so hard to retain control over this, but you fucking can't. There are too many people, too many things happening. Throw it in the garbage, you know? Throw away culture. I, is this it when he said bloodbath? Oh, I don't know, bro. I don't want to rewatch it. But basically, I'm, I'm giving you the, yeah. the, the skinny of it, because it's like a three-minute clip of him talking about the auto manufacturers, and then he goes, oh, it's going to be a bloodbath. And then they just took that part... They took it out of context, so they said this means that if he loses, they're going to call for violence. Hmm. So, it, it, But what? then when people came out on Twitter, they're like, well, here's the full context. That's not what it means. <clears throat> they just ignored it. They just kept repeating the same thing. Even though hmm. the tweet right under them says this is a fact check, this is wrong, this is what he really said, yeah. they, they're just pretending like it's not happening. And they're like, no, no, he said bloodbath. We're going to use this. <sighs> so here's my issue with democracy. I was thinking about this because they were doing this in ancient Greece. You know what the problem is, bro? Yeah. Uh, this is why I like how the U.S. has it with like a constitution so that no one, like you can't outvote someone's rights, right? Because you're all protected mm -hmm. under the state. Because the problem with democracy that I realize is that it's just the majority that can basically vote against you. So if the majority doesn't like you, mm -hmm. technically speaking, if 51% votes against you, mm -hmm. it's like Arthur Sims got to evacuate the country, then you got to follow it. You're like, well, we voted. Right? You right. need some inalienable rights that no one can outvote on. I see what yeah, you mean. That's yeah, why yeah, I like yeah. the Constitution. So it, mean, it, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if 99% of the country says, um, I don't know, uh, Arthur Sim, let's say you're an American citizen. Sure. Uh, you're not allowed to own guns or vote or whatever. It does nothing. It's like, pff, vote all you want. These are my rights as, you know, someone uh -huh. in this country. Yeah. We vote on other stuff. But on my, you can't shake that. Right. So, yeah, right. I'm, I'm kind of more for a constitutional republic when, when I see shit like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's true. You, the more idiots you have, they could just outvote you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that clip, uh, that Indian Swami talking about democracy. Oh, is that what it? Uh, oh, I well, he ends. He, he's like, you know, uh, government for the people, by the people, but the people, they are retarded. <laughs> he, he, are you <laughs> serious? Who's clip. this? Yeah, dude, you gotta bring check. it up. Bring Just it. I like this up, guy. But the people are retarded. <laughs> What? what? That it's sounds incredible. like that's my kind of guy. What's his yeah, name? It's kind of exactly what Indian. You're you mean like India or native? India. Oh, Poseidon on YouTube, please stop using it as Google. Yeah, that's insane. That's genuinely insane to use Twitter as... He always does it. He always <laughs> does it. Uh, sometimes <laughs> you find stuff... Sometimes it'll work. What is it? No, no, but you'll find stuff that, that uh, you can't find anywhere else. All right. That's true, yeah, yeah. Like uh, dark web shit or like violent stuff yeah, yeah. or they'll oh, show yeah, it on sure. Twitter. What's yeah. his name? Yeah, Swami? Tell me. Uh, just if you look up, but the people are retarded... But the people are I love this video so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's Indian Indian. I've seen this guy's face. You've yeah. definitely, I feel like you've seen this clip. Click on it? Yeah, just a second. Click on it. I'm sure his face looks super familiar now with the beard. Oh, yeah, he was in a, uh, he was in that documentary, the Netflix documentary about the cult. This guy's a, a Oh, that's leader. where I've seen his face. Yeah. Okay, the leader? one where, yeah. the, the one in, um, the one in the States? Yeah, yeah, yes, they set up in yes, like Ohio yes. or something, yeah. That's why it looks... Okay, okay. Is this from that? Uh, no, this is... Uh, Just well, they probably used it, but... Click play beside him. Oh, I'll put the volume up. Yeah. Because democracy basically means... <laughs> government... by the people... Of the people, for the people. Uh -huh. But the people are retarded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if I've seen it, but I like him now. Yeah. But it sounds familiar because I call everyone retarded. That's but yeah, sure, that's kind of yeah. what I'm starting to feel. Because yeah. yeah. uh, it's mostly because I've been on Twitter a lot. So I see a lot of like dumb arguments. 
Damn. And then when presented with facts, people still, they're delusional. So like, holy mm. fuck, these people are allowed to vote. Yeah. And when they get mad, they just go with the delusion. Sure. So yeah. just imagine them being mad at me. Mm. They'll Even if I'm correct, they'll yeah. just outvote me if there's more retarded people than there are me. Right. It's it's very, very strange. But I notice it even in, uh, yeah, I notice it in Montreal. I notice in the comedy scene too, a lot of retardation. Hey, sure. Yeah. Shout I, out to uh, Usselman. I saw, I, I, I saw you that. Saw the uh, movie? No, people sent me uh, screenshots because people were like attacking them on the Montreal group or something. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Because they posted it. I saw the clips of people that were, I feel like the attacks were too, it's either you don't like it. Like, I think I saw a bit of the video, but it was long. I thought it was going to be like five minutes, but it was like 55 or some shit. Yeah, it's it a like full a, feature length. I sound like I'm not yeah. watching this what's shit. The, what's the... What did they do? Uh, they just made a little, like, a video. It's a montage of, like, uh, Asselman and um, uh, David, and they're just going around being crackheads. And uh, it's, it's pretty fun. Is it? I watched If you sit down it, and watch the whole thing? It's a good fucking time, dude. I, I like, skipped around a little bit. Because it looked retarded. But, uh, well, it was. How do you say his name? It was. Uh, so, anyway, so I saw the people were, like, mad at them, like, what the fuck? It's like, but who gives a shit? They just made a video. You don't yeah. like it. You just don't like it. It ends there. Yeah. They're having a good time. Yeah. 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 Who, it's like, oh, this is why people don't book people or some shit like that. And I was like, holy fuck, people are overreacting. Yeah. Like, everyone's done bad. Like, I, I have, what, thousands, millions of hours of podcasts or whatever online. Mm. They're not all winners. Right. It's sure. going to be a lot of sure. garbage. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. Yeah. That's how stand-up is, too. Yeah, sure, yeah. man. Also, we need to be supporting our special needs comedians. Yeah. I feel like uh, you guys are good at giving them a, a platform, you know? We try. Yeah. yeah, one of them fell asleep today though. I was gonna <laughs> give him, I was gonna give him a nice big platform for it. Yo, secret show. You haven't been in the secret show in a while. Yeah, yeah, I've been fucking lazy, dude. Dude, it's too late for you, but they've been phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. I hope tonight yeah, nice. is the same. It, it, they've just been getting better and better. Oh, cool. And now there's a lot of returning um, audience members who are starting to catch that they could join in on the fun. So they'll bring, nice. they'll be more open to letting me read their text messages. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I read boom booms. Yeah. Okay. Uh, romantic okay. text the other day. It was so much fun because I did it in his voice as much as I could, <laughs> and that's what makes it hilarious, you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's a, it's a lot of fun, dude. The secret show is really becoming something, something wacky. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Can I stop by? Uh, One of you. We'll I told you you have an Thanks, open man. invite. Thank you. Come do spots. You. you come hang out. Do the the panel. It's, it's just, fun. It's, it's a lot fucking because it's the most yeah. relaxed thing. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows. There's you just it's all fucking around with comics. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people who come to it now that, uh, come from pretty far, actually. There's some, we have like people who come from like 40 minutes away, 50 minutes away oh, that they live. Wow. And they've made it a thing like every week that that's their. Nice, dude. Yeah. So it's, uh, we've, we're developing a little culture over there. Yeah. Yeah. As much as people get mad about it. It's so stupid. Just enjoy the comedy. Fuck. Yeah. Jesus. Come and have a good time. You fucking dickheads. Yeah, I read the Facebook page. These people are fighting over fucking like five dollars. But that's know? why that's why I, I'm not. That's why I had left because people yeah. said, "Why did you leave the page?" It's because I, when I used to get notifications, mm -hmm. it was everyone fighting over nonsense and just like spewing venom about each other. Right. And I was like, "All this is gonna do is either one get me to hate someone that I shouldn't hate because like I don't see them. Yeah. So why right. would I not like them because of their post? Uh, you know, I don't want to join a side or whatever because I think if if you're fighting over like nonsense, like this guy didn't book me or this is my show, don't go to that show. You're mm. all idiots. So yeah. I I don't want to develop a hatred or anything. I want to just like everyone, like let them do their thing. Yeah. So I was like, I don't need to be here. Get notifications of this guy uh, owes me five bucks. Oh, uh, this guy doesn't book me on his shows. No. It's probably because he's anti Asian, anti this, and like it's all fucked, like convoluted nonsense. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I said I don't want to be here because I'm gonna get like the worst image of everyone. Yeah. But now that I don't know. Every time I see someone, it's pretty cool. And then someone will tell me, like, you know, that person's a fucking asshole. I'm like, yeah, hey, everyone's a fucking asshole. Just Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's uh, most of us are huge fucking losers yeah. in this scene. What do you mean most? Have, All of us. Yes, and yeah. we have nothing else. Yeah. This is kind this of is like our space. And to fucking try to, like, segregate people and, like, cordon yourself off, I don't, I don't get the... Uh, it's a strange, strange impulse. There's a lot more strength in numbers if... Everyone's cool with each other, yeah, and dude. you have more opportunities. It's much funner. Yeah. But they don't. They fight over. I've seen people. I even read a couple last week. They brought me text of a certain comic that was like bullying some some other comedians, <laughs> and I read that comedians. Uh, com I'm seeing. I mean, I'm using the term comedian very loosely. Hey, sure. sure. Um, their comments to these other comedians, and I was like, get the. F that's insane. Yeah. Lunatic shit, dude. Lunatic shit. Oh my god. And I was like, fuck. This is why I stay away from these goddamn groups. Yeah. And this was direct messages. It wasn't even like public ones. I was like, no, it's uh, we're we're lunatics. We're all crazy. Yes, just there's different levels. Some can work it, 
Yeah. Like me, I'm working it. Yeah. Others, uh, it's not workable. Yeah. That's yeah, all it is. The, a lot of very talented people in this scene without the structure to do anything with it. Yeah. And it's it's too bad. Because really, some of the funnier guys in this scene, guys and ladies, yeah. another there, uh, they just don't have like the mental fortitude to... Put it all together. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a lot of funny fuckers. Yeah. Uh, this I, is a great scene. Yeah, I try to showcase him as much as I can on ones that are funny. I, uh, I'm i proud of you. You're just getting oh, better thanks. and better. The roasts are fucking killer. They're fun, dude. Yeah, you're very yeah. difficult, I told them, to uh, to handle on a roast. And it's not even your attacks are good, your offense is amazing, but it's actually your defense that's your that's your best part because no matter what they tell you, even when it's a great one, mm. you, you're not reactionary. Right. You don't yeah. panic and start saying, rant. you wait, you're like, oh, it was funny. Yeah. yeah Everyone yeah, yeah. calms down, yeah. they forgot about the joke, and then you rip them. I was telling people about that. I go, you didn't see how calm he was because I was uh, I was making fun of um, our boy Pecker. Oh, uh, that was rough. Yeah, I go, yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Why are you so reactionary? Right. Because you, you missed yeah. it, uh, Poseidon, you weren't there. But the yeah. last Rose Battle, they were both doing well. And then for some reason, uh, as soon as Arthur started like really hitting some good ones, Pecker lost his cool. So he started to like just be reactionary and just reply stuff that didn't make sense. So he said something along the lines of he was calling him, oh, you were molested or whatever. And he goes, yeah, I'm just like my, I forgot we told him, like, I'm going to yeah. fuck you right now. I'm going to fuck a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he panicked so much. All he said was while everyone's laughing, uh, he panicked. Pecker's like, oh, I'm going to touch your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah. What? Yeah, what oh, the fuck? And then so you see his face. He's like, what did I just say? <laughs> and then I, I was dying. I go, Pecker, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't have to react to everything. Just stay calm. Just stay the fuck up. So and then I saw him just smiling. Like he knew he was like, I got this. Yeah. I got this. As soon as I'll touch your butt, everyone, there was this one black guy that was there with his friends, and we both had this moment <laughs> where we looked at each other like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These moments are gold. Though. It was gold, though. It, it was, was amazing. So funny. For the comedy, it was fun. Yeah. And then oh, the yeah. extra round after when uh, he was about to start, I was like, I'm going to suck your dick. And he's like, God damn it. <laughs> everyone exploded. Yeah, yeah. So what? Funny. He said that? No, no. I said, as he was about to talk, oh, I took my mic and I said it because it, it was a callback oh, to him okay, just yeah, reacting. Yeah, yeah, so okay. the whole police exploded. So it was a lot of fun. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. It was I, a good time. Uh, Pecker's first joke was so good that I immediately was kind of on tilt. I, I was really worried. I got mine in, and then, yeah, I noticed, like, a shift in his energy. There was some stuttering there. He, yeah. he mentioned that he drank some Diet Pepsis beforehand. His mouth was uh, was dry. He was so. overthinking everything. He was drying all that. Yeah. I like Pecker, though. He's yeah, been coming oh, my to, God. Yeah, he's, he's been great. opening up the secret shows. And, yeah. and last week he needed to like cleanse his palate because he didn't like what he did in the roast battle. So he opened up the secret show and he fucking murdered. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, and yeah. everyone loved him. And that was the best crowd for him too. Nice. Was, like the yeah. secret show crowds, when they come and it's full, they're mostly lunatics. Yeah, sure. So they Their want fans. you to go the extra mile. Nice. And I noticed with the jokes that were happening before me. So when I went on before we started the panel, I did a couple of like the edger stuff just to see. And they were on board with like, I think I could have gone even further. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, they're a wacky crowd. They're good. Yeah, it's really good. Pecker's a sweetheart, by the way. Yeah, but you he's can't say like that publicly. Real, Don't say that publicly. I'm saying it publicly. He's a nice guy. Don't ruin his persona. He's very nice. And, he is. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a good man. kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame it's that he has to go dude. to jail every week, but he's a good kid. He's <laughs> <laughs> a good guy. Yeah, for the the roasts, I'm I'm developing a new like guerrilla warfare strategy, mm -hmm. like you mentioned. So if they bomb, I just wait. I just sit back. Maybe I'll comment on it. Um, Do you have something good? Yeah, but I, I won't even because I'm not good on the fly. I'm not like a riffer. Uh, but if they bomb, I'll just say like three out of ten or something like that. Just something to like get them off their their game a little bit. I'm very mean spirited. I, I think and I the don't roasts know. are such a fun way to get it out. You know. And it's good because everyone, so far, no one's been hurt. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a good time. Because it's hard sometimes with the battle of the egos. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'll say something after the roast, you, you're there, and it's kind of, like, harsh. Yeah, And, sure. and I'll, I'll, I'll look at the face, and if, if I notice that someone actually gets hurt, mm. then I'm like, okay, I won't make another tag on them. Like, that was too much. Sure. Like, that's how yeah. I gauge it. I look at their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll say something. hurt. Yeah, because there's been some people that I said something that, like, the room just popped, and I was like, oh, they're going to be on board because it was funny. And then I look at their faces, like... Mm, I shouldn't have said that. That was yeah. <laughs> they're sad. I didn't want to because it's not the intention. I want them to laugh with of me. Of course, yeah. So then the second I see they get sad, I'm like, "Fuck, yeah, okay. man, don't judge, don't say anything." Because I have some good ones. Because uh, they give me fucking a lot of they give me a lot of ammunition. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Like Peck or that, I couldn't not talk about that. It was so obvious because yeah. everyone felt it, but no one said anything. So I was like, so I gotta funny. talk about this. So funny. What we'll touch your butt? 
<laughs> it's like what? Oh, and then he's like this. He's like this. Like you saw him. He's like, what the fuck just happened? He's like, what the fuck just popped out of my mouth? Because he just needed to say something. Yeah. You don't yeah, always yeah. need to talk. Sometimes silence is king. I, I've been yeah. in that. I've been in that boat many times during the podcast where I just say nonsense. nonsense. Like that. Yeah. Just like, kidding. Thank you, Poseidon. Piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you say, Poseidon? You wanted to bring something up. You said, was it something I sent you? And uh, then I made you bring up the doctors. What did you want to talk about? Yo, did you see the border uh, in the States? It's like being overrun, bro. But it's been like that for months. We talked about it. Okay, so here's the thing. Again, months ago we said this they, uh, on the podcast, and we got like uh, people saying, oh, it's conspiracy theories. And then now it's all over the news. Mm. And then the people who said it was conspiracy theories just don't talk about it. So, But there's also laws. like They're trying to get people... This is what I find. So there was um, uh, there was all these arguments about voter registration. I don't know if you remember this. That like the Republicans were like, "Yo, if you're gonna vote, you need to have ID." Mm. And then uh, the Democrats were like, "No, that's racist," which is crazy. What? It's still, by the way, still crazy to me. Okay, it's very strange. It's very strange. And then they said because black people don't know how to get IDs, which I'm like, that's more Whoa, racist. Jesus. That's way more racist <laughs> that's than crazy. than the Republicans asking for ID. But anyways, we got past that, right? Yeah. Then now, they're trying to get all, a lot of these illegals, and these are illegals, bro, that are storming the border, mm. to be allowed to vote without ID. Well, they shouldn't be allowed to vote with ID because they're not citizens. Mm -hmm. I, I believe citizens should vote. And now they're trying to say that if you're a, being a citizen to vote, if you say being a citizen to vote is somehow racist or exclusionary, it's they keep changing the lines. Basically, what, what they're trying to do right now is in order to, quote unquote, aside and save democracy, they want to put the Republican candidate Trump in jail, mm. uh, stop freedom of speech, you can't comment on any of that, and have people who are not citizens vote, and that's going to save democracy. That, all those things are the opposite of a free and democratic... It's yeah. insane. Yeah. And uh, uh, what's Very happening strange. is that they're coming through the border, and apparently they're they're sharing information amongst each other that how to, like... Uh, you know, find a house. Oh, that's that one guy, the viral uh, uh, guy I saw him, the Spanish guy. He, he, he was telling everyone about squatters' rights. Yeah, yeah. Because in the, I don't know why the fuck squatters' rights are even a thing. Mm. But you can go, if there's a house that no one lives in, Yeah. even if it's no one lives in temporarily because let's say you inherited and you're doing some renos and you want to, if no one actually, it's not their home address, you can go in and now it's like yours. You can live there. Start doing paperwork for it. Okay. So he figured that out and he has these viral TikToks where he's telling people we're going to take over this fucking country and he's giving them details of how you could just steal their homes. God damn. And instead of like the media being like, ah, maybe we should talk about, maybe looking into the squatters' uh, rights stuff, it's kind of stupid. Like the, uh -huh, the fact that someone sure. could just t t steal your home from you if you're yeah, on vacation is nuts. Keepers. Yeah, it's, it's the finders keepers. Like we're not children. Right. Um, and also if it's a capitalist society, we should have uh, property rights. Like sure. stronger property rights. Yeah, sure. And it's your property. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Uh -huh. If I want to leave for a year, it's still my fucking property. Yeah. So all that, instead of saying that, they're mostly like either uh, dodging it or like siding with them. Well, you know, what are they going to do? They're really, it's, dude, either you secure the border so this doesn't fucking happen or you change the law so people can't steal someone else's home. Uh-huh. It's yeah. that, it's, yeah. it's fucking crazy, dude. You know what's going to happen though? A lot of people are going to get shot. Well, you saw the New York thing. The woman... Who's been trying to get? She got arrested for going to confront them. She got oh, arrested to. Uh, it, it was in the New York. I tweeted about it. Uh, I said it was. Uh, well, all I said was it, this is abhorrent because it, it's yeah. her building. It's her apartment or whatever. The squatters moved in. Right. She was there. She was arguing with them. She changed the lock. Tried to get them out, and then she got arrested. And like she, they have squatters' rights. That's crazy. Yeah. That can't be a right. Right. That's but this crazy. is like people getting mad at speedrunners for ruining their video games, though. These people are kind of like hacking the system. Yeah. I kind of respect it. Like, it's pretty sick. Because the system is flawed? Yeah. And they're just like, all right, I'm fucking walk into the house. It's mine. You know, I, also, I got ye old finders keepers, losers weepers law that I'm bringing into effect here. <laughs> it's so stupid. I hate that. that it's really it's completely yeah, insane. completely insane. And also, you're right, Poseidon, though. If it was like, because uh, I would, I think if I'd come back from a vacation mm -hmm. and someone's living in my apartment. Yeah. They would never find their body. A million percent. A million percent. No yeah. one's even knowing that there's a squatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a murder. Yes. What? What do you do? What do you think you're doing? All right. I'm Get gonna, the fuck yeah, out yeah. Of my You think apartment. I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch this out for a couple of years in court while I'm homeless? No chance. No chance. No chance. String them up in yeah. front of the apartment. Just show. <laughs> Don't fuck. How about he's on the balcony hanging? <laughs> That's what happens. 
No, then you go to jail. Now you got to hide the body. They can't find out. Uh, how would you go about hiding a body? We talked about this on the podcast. All right. It's All very right. it's very difficult because sure. everyone thinks it's easy. Because uh-huh. the squatter thing would work probably because the best way to commit a murder, they say, is you murder someone that you have no connection to. Yep. Correct. Because if you have, like, let's say if you murder me, a bit of investigating, you know, they sure. investigate everyone you know who's been on the podcast, stuff, they might figure it out. Yeah. You know, one slip yep. up. But if it's a random person, it's super difficult, apparently. Yep. So I don't Almost know. Almost impossible. Yeah. Um, you would definitely, Poseidon, you would definitely have to cover the body and move it somewhere remote first. And then what's the plan, Poseidon? No, no, Chopping you, you, up the body? No, no, you can't move anything. You have to you have to chop it up in the apartment in the tub. You I wouldn't agree with that. No, 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 you can't move it. There's cameras everywhere, bro. You can't move a body. The big carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, people are, as soon as, as soon as somebody investigates and they ask for footage, you're cooked. Why Forget would they it. investigate? This is a squatter. Well, by the time they figure out his, who's going to investigate what? Right. What yeah. I, yeah. That's what that's what I think I would do is giant carpet, bring him somewhere remote. Okay. But do you chop up the body or do you find someone that has access to acid? Or just burn him up to a crisp? Then there's a paper trail. If you're buying acid. If you're buying acid. What about okay. gasoline? You just torch that body till it's dust. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh yeah I think you've solved it. I think, I yeah, think that's, that's what we got to do. We take him yeah. far away, Poseidon, yeah. and we burn him. It's kind of very easy to kill someone. I feel like, and get away with it. Yeah. Even with all the surveillance cameras. I, I just go like four towns over, find some nice lady. That's that's what murderers would do. Yeah. And this yeah, was man. back in the day. They could still do it now. Uh, yeah, you go to a small town, mm. just passing through, you can do it. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. suggest anyone do it. Here, here's here's my thing, is be free, be uh, and just don't fuck with other people's rights. Sure. So you sure. do you. But the second your impulse is to hurt someone else, that you got to stop. Leave him alone. Yeah. Let him do his thing. Yeah. yeah. But uh, most murders, from what I understand, it's rare that you have these serial killers. Most murders, there's a reason. It's not random. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, it's crime not. Crime of passion. Crime of passion, right. uh, crime, just in general, like drug dealers or whatever. Yeah, revenge. Revenge, a lot of revenge killings. Yeah. Anytime there's a, a motive, you're screwed. Yeah. You're, you're getting caught. Yeah, and the ones that don't have motives that just have like a ideology, yeah, like the serial killers, yeah. most get some don't get caught though, ever because they. But that's that's yeah. legit psychopath. That's not a moment of rage. That's you premeditated a stranger. I'm gonna kill them. Yeah, these are the people that should be uh, no parole, life. Sure, because you can't have yeah. these people out there. I agree. I totally. I'm I'm like a very impressionable guy. Hmm. For a couple of months, I was watching like serial killer podcasts. And the serial like killers were, were, were podcasting, or were they talking about serial killers? They were talking about them. <laughs> they were talking about them. And uh, I've got I respect the art. Some of them, they're very they fine tune the whole process. It's yeah. very cool. They deserve to be behind bars, but yeah. I think that we should uh, you know celebrate what they've done. I think. <laughs> What? The work behind it. Yes. Look. Oh, my God. You're a man who appreciates hard work. Yeah. <laughs> Not for nothing, but a lot of these kids don't appreciate hard work nowadays, so this is good. That's right. It's nice to see this from the youngins. Yeah, man. Nose to the grindstone. I'm just trying to see. Uh, uh, I know there's a lot more unsolved murders now, but part of that, Poseidon, is also we have a big problem with people not working. Yeah. So much shit going on. Mm. The pandemic kind of threw everything out of whack a bit. Uh-huh. And we've never fully recovered. Doesn't feel like it. Everyone's no. understaffed. Yeah. It does. Feel, you know, like the law of entropy, like chaos begets chaos. It feels like we're heading towards sort of a cataclysmic event. event. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're edging towards a cliff. Mm. Uh, man, so yeah. many people have been saying this lately. Even, even people that normally are like positive or like, you know, delusional, they're in their delusion are like, yeah. Yo, something feels off. Like, I'm seeing the videos of people yeah. talking about this. Like, I, I feel like everything is going to fucking crumble. You saw the RCMP thing I shared? Yeah. The National yeah, Post? Yeah, I saw that. That's yeah. fucking funny. But it also, it goes to show you when we talk about how, fuck, people are just stupid. They don't get it. Yeah. The RCMP is basically saying these dummies, mm. once they realize how bad we have it, they might revolt. Right. So for them to say like they don't, they're so so the people that have been telling them guys it's worse than you think. Mm-hmm. Like shut up, conspiracy theorist. The right. actual RCMP is saying wait till you idiots finally open your eyes. Yeah. yeah you might yeah. get so mad that you revolt. 
If people open their eyes. I did. Well, yeah, I feel like the average person is kind of aware of what's happening. I think that's just right? the people that are around us, our community, comedians, people like the people we hang out with, because I yeah. think we spew all our venom so they, they hear it, yeah, sure. are aware. Because that's my problem is I think everyone thinks like me. But then you look like if you look at Twitter and take a good sample size, that's yeah. what I do. I look at the comments. I see a lot of people are completely unaware. Mm. There's still people arguing now. They go, the economy's never been stronger in Canada. That's crazy. It's like, yeah, what the wow. fuck are that's you talking crazy. about? Crazy. That's crazy. That's just crazy yeah. talk. None of this is true. You could you could fact check this. You could look at statistically. Yeah. No one could afford to buy a home. It's completely fucked up. What are you talking Dude, about? Dude, I, I took an Uber here. This guy was telling me how great the Canadian economy is. He works 14 hours a day. <laughs> he lives in a one-bedroom apartment. That is amazing. He, he can barely afford food. And yeah. he's, he's touting the fucking virtues of our, uh, our economy. I could not believe it. He doesn't I realize. I don't understand. I don't but the, understand. That's the what they're being is, told, I guess. I don't know. They just regurgitate it. I think so. I think so. But then even even if these people do become aware of the actual situation that we're in, I because th- sometimes I get mad. I start thinking about this shit. There's nothing you could do. I jack off. I yeah. eat a bag of potato chips. I'm over it. Yeah. That's the thing is that we're comfortably <laughs> numb. Yeah. You know, They're yeah. very good at keeping us sort of at an even keel. We have got a I, women's revolt, professional hockey league now. We got well, distractions. We got distractions. It's unex- uh, unacceptable. Yeah, <laughs> they shouldn't be allowed. I don't think so because they're not as good at the sport as the men. And well, they're not facing we can men. Cut that. They're not facing men though. So yeah, it is sure. fun. Like I've seen, they're they're talented. I have watched them. Uh, soc- women's soccer is watchable. Women's hockey is watchable. I still can't watch women's basketball. It's rough. Yeah, it's rough. it's rough. Most watchable is women's volleyball. Yeah, uh, mm, yeah, more than men's. Most watchable is uh, honestly lady soccer. Lady soccer and lady hockey. Oh yeah, they're both good. They're, they're, they're like it's fun to watch. They're competitive. Uh, I think Poseidon was being a pervert when yeah, he said I was, he, was, he was. He was. Like but it's because I know the high, the high school volleyball stuff that he watches, and I don't want to bring oh, it up. It's not high it's, school. It's high school. It it's not, school, bro. It's on yeah. Pornhub. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't mean. A, yeah, they're getting in trouble too. They're doing a lot of weird stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw even porn. It's the they're talking about how they want to prove that you're 18 if you're going to watch porn. Yeah, yeah. And in Texas, right? In te- well, they want to make it even in Canada. I think Polly was talking about that. Like maybe we shouldn't because I know it has fucked up a generation. We could admit that now that porn, um, dude. Um, so oh I'm not God. against it, but the way people are against. The verification is kind of shocking, because mm-hmm. like, what that the is fuck strange. is yeah. what Why the fuck is this? No, and it's like we gotta. And the other thing is, someone wrote, uh, "This makes it dangerous for our children to verify that someone is eighteen before they could watch hardcore pornography is dangerous for kids." Like, I, the ar- no you're just saying stuff, but it doesn't. Yeah. There's no real argument to it. It doesn't make any sense. No. You know what else I found Very weird strange. on Pornhub? Mm. Something I noticed. I was like, "This is this is fucking weird. I've never seen this. Why would they have this?" They'll have. By the way, Poseidon, just to, um, I just don't want it to be part of a database. Like, I, I want you to have as an adult the right to look at whatever the fuck you want as mm-hmm. an adult. We have to figure out how you can verify, and it's not just put your age in this, right? Yeah, yeah, but I don't sure. like the idea of the government knowing what your kinks are or whatever the fuck. Like, I don't like databases. Yes, I don't like the government knowing where you are, what you're jacking off to. That yeah, I'm against. Yeah. I don't like this surveillance system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am all for not having children look at hardcore pornography because we've already fucked up one generation sexually. Dude, it's terrible. I, I was exposed to it. Uh, I was eight. Uh, an older kid sent me this, you know, Lemon Party? Oh, no. By the way, I, yeah. I, I've heard it before and I've asked him what it is, but he told me I don't want to know, so I don't want to know. You've never Googled it? No. I feel like you'd want to know. God bless your soul, bro. Crazy. Never Google it. It's not that crazy? No, it's it's old guys like pissing on younger guys. Uh, that's not at all what I thought it was in my yeah, head. Yeah, it's not that bad. Maybe I heard about that. I what don't did know. you think it was? I thought it was going to be worse because I was thinking like two girls, one cup, or the guy that put the glass jar in his Whoa, asshole. Yep. Remember that guy? Yeah, oh, sure. That was terrible. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Did you get uh, a pain Olympics? Uh, yeah, but that's uh, different. That wasn't yeah. supposed to be pornographic. Yeah. But all that stuff. I remember we were kids in high school. We were getting exposed to that yeah. shit. I remember yeah. I watched, uh, dude, when I was a kid, I watched a video, pain Olympics, of this dude literally chopping off his dick with a hatchet. I don't yeah. know if that was real, though. I don't know either, man. I still wonder if those were just well-made fakes. Mm. Yeah, but in your head, yeah. it's real now. In your That's head, it's real. You saw a guy chop his dick off. It's yeah. crazy. But you uh, you were bringing up Lemon Party. You, someone sent you that? And yeah, it was old so men pissing on kids? Yeah, yeah. It was this guy, Freddie Pooley. I'm still friends with him. Good guy. But it was just a thing that they did at my school. Like, older yeah. guys would just send you weird shit. Uh, Blue Waffle, Two Girls, One Cup. Uh, 
What's that guy? Like two guys are like chasing a guy in the woods with a hatchet. And that I haven't him. seen. That one's crazy. And they kill him? Yeah. Oh, maybe I did see that. What? But so what it does, so not only are you being exposed to porn at a young age, you're being exposed to extreme violent porn, and it creates this strange, like, association between your sexuality and, like, violence or, like, fucking ladies, like, farting on cakes and shit. Like, it's just a... It warps your reality. Yes. Yeah. Before you've had the chance to have, like, a real meaningful, like, intimate connection with someone. Oh, it's the- fucked me up, dude. Like, I... Uh, Every day is a struggle to, like, stay away from it, to just fucking... Because I, I don't know about you, but, like, when I was a teen, it was, like, fucking every day. It, multiple me, times. I was lucky because it was right at the edge of us. It was still blurred porn. I got my computer late, so I, I had just dodged the, de- like, you know, the yeah. dependency on it. And then, you know, I started to, you know, work and all that, so you got more busy. But if I was, like, two years younger... Mm. What been over? I was just jerking off all the time. Ruined. Or had access to porn all the time. How old are you, yeah. uh, Arthur? I want to say twenty-four. Okay, yeah, I mean, I was right at I was right at as soon as I became like ten. I was right at the beginning of all wow. that. Wow. Yeah, and he's younger That's than tough. me. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. I'm dude. thirty now. Yeah. I'm thirty-seven. Yeah, it sticks with you. In that like young impressionable age, it just latches its claws into you, and it doesn't. Uh, it's not like cocaine; it's free, it's readily available at any time, and uh, it's. I, I think they did study; it's as addictive. No, no of course, and also cocaine. they they did studies on uh, university students, and college students around North America, yeah. and how the dudes aren't banging anymore because yeah, yeah. uh, social anxiety because they grew up just on porn. Yeah. Uh, so even when they want to meet a girl, whatever, they'll just beat one off to porn and then not go meet the girl. Yep. Uh, and I had a whole conversation with Michelle uh, in the green room one day. She was telling me about this, about how her, her friends, like that whole age group, mm. they can't, it's super difficult to, to go out with dudes. Mm. It's super, because no one cares. Like they'll either stand yeah, you up, yeah. they don't care because they'll just jerk off or whatever. Right. So now chicks who want to go out and get laid aren't getting laid. Uh-huh. So they're getting frustrated. It, it's like it's this whole vicious cycle like of yeah. people being affected by it. And it, I look back at my, if you talk to any of my friends my age, there was no realm, no possibility where you're in your 20s. A girl calls you and says, come over. Right. And you're like, nah. Right. You would Crazy. literally you'd be like, what? Yeah, there's no one over. Just come over. Yeah. You'd fucking, you'd take three buses to get there, a metro, <laughs> yeah, you'd yeah, steal yeah. a bike. <laughs> like it doesn't, you'd find a way to get there. Yeah. Whereas right. now it's like, nah, I'm going to jerk off. Yeah. It, and I've never, when she was telling me this, she's like, no, it happens, I guess. And there's, you know, there's, and there's articles too you can read about how university yeah. students, they're staying virgin until they're 30 something. Yeah, but it's because they can't, they, they don't know how to speak to people anymore. Right. So I was like, fuck, man, what a different reality. Like how much, yeah. how much of a difference a couple of years makes? Because us, you, you talk to anybody in my age group, they would fucking jog it for 40 minutes to get sure, to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, insane. Dude, I it's once crazy. took a bus for two and a half hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two and a half hours. Crocodile like, fingers. Yeah, to, to go bang. Oh, my God. And he banged a horrible, hideous monster. Yeah, I just oh, wanted to bang, yeah. Sure, sure. I get it, man. Suck the, the mean the dick, c- though. Hey. Yeah, well, you, I mean, oh. cool. I'm sure she's cool. I'm Happy proud of you. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but now everyone knows sex. that Poseidon sucks a mean dick. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. She sucks a mean dick. <laughs> it's the, the I thought you said suck the mean dick. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, her. She sucked. Like, That's she, not what it sounded like. Uh, uh, Borgelli, when you're editing this. <laughs> For clips, you know what to do, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. It's it's the kind of sex that people are having too. Like if 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 a young guy finally summons up the nerve to talk to a lady, have sex with her, it's choking, it's spitting because these people were, oh, that's were what, raised yeah. on such a fucking warped vision of sexuality. Like choking is vanilla now. It's fucking crazy. That's, yeah, I, I was like, once when I was younger, so, uh, uh, someone had asked me that, can you choke me? And I was like, are you crazy? I thought it was no a trap. fucking way. Yeah. I thought it was a trap. Yeah. It wasn't. She did want to get choked. I found out later. Yeah. But I was just like, is this some kind of like, she's trying to say that. <laughs> you know? She's like, no, no, it's fun. I was like, it's not, no. no, no <laughs> it's way. too fucking no, weird, bro. I don't want to do that. Now it starts like, just a visual in my head of me doing this. Like, this is crazy, bro. It's what am nice. I, a fucking Batman villain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of okay. absurd. And yeah, you're right. If that's vanilla now. Imagine where we're headed. That's the thing. Things just keep getting crazier and crazier. That's like the singularity thing, right? Like we're just headed towards a point in history that we can't even imagine. It's going to be a point of no return, I think. Yeah, yeah. Which we're too late. We're beyond. 
returning help. to. Yeah. What what was like an era in history that you think was like healthy? In, in all honesty, that was healthy. I don't know. But I look back at the 90s very fondly, and I'll tell you why. Okay. There was stuff that was considered edgy, which by our standards now are not, right? So uh -huh. there was still free speech, but there were still people fighting for what's right. And the family unit was still respected. Yeah. And it was a thing where people, whether you were grunge or whatever, you still kind of strive for that, for a family. And sure. all. it was still respect. Yeah. It was viewed as well. People were not as divided at right. all. There was still this essence of you're human, you're American, you're Canadian, whereas now everything is divided. It's very true. Everything is, and yeah. I've t I talk, I did the Freeway Frank's podcast uh, beginning of the week, and I told him about this. I go, I'm noticing. So the government, the bigger it gets, and all the government is. It's evil, but not evil in the sense like the government's not like uh, like Trudeau's not going in a room with a hoodie and yeah, with a black. Sure. That's not. It's evil in the sense that it's it's like a big corporation. Mm -hmm. In order for it to continue feeding and winning, we have to lose. It's just the way the gov governments have turned now. So it's kind of like a big corporation that only cares about money. Yeah. It's going to keep cutting. It's going to do layoffs. It's just that's how organically it'll grow. Mm -hmm. So anything that the government is super for and pushing on people normally is not good for them. Sure. So when you see that the government like has like co-opted uh, LGBTQ, anything, any other flags that they're putting on government buildings, all that, mm -hmm. you have to be weary of it. And what they did with that is they uh, divided people. So that used to be stuff that people themselves would identify. Be like, I'm part of this subgroup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we have a community, which is that's what you should do. You should do that whether you're LGBTQ, Greek, Black. It's good sure. to have uh, communities. The second the government co-ops it, it's kind of like saying, oh, everything is this or it's bad. So mm -hmm. they do it with a lot of different groups. But the reasoning behind it is very simple. It's just to divide people. Because then they go, if you're against this, mm -hmm. you're the bad guy. But if you keep subdividing people mm -hmm. and you give mm -hmm. it a big voice like this is right, that's wrong, then all you're doing is creating these that keep fighting each other while the government fucks everyone. Yeah. Because the yeah. real thing is none of that shit matters. That's the, I was, I was telling um, uh, Freeway, on, on a real scale, Yep. It doesn't fucking matter. Not even a They make bit. you think it matters. Yep. They make you think it matters if he's gay or if I'm black or whatever. That doesn't fucking... Well, who the fuck gives a shit? That right. should never be a prerequisite for anything. The second you make it a prerequisite, now there's a problem because you're judging people based on sexual orientation or race. Or whatever. That we should be against. Right. But if you make it a thing and you have to have this thing and this thing, this thing, you just divide people and make them fight over that yeah. while you're fucking the shit out of everyone equally. And then some of these people who are getting fucked by you still, uh, like, the government's great. Mm. No, the second the government gets behind something, I'm fucking weary of it. A million Very percent. weary oh, of yeah. it. You're, yeah. you're taking something over so you could use it as one of your arms. Yep. No, people should be against that. People should get together. 100%. And be against Because they made it, I feel like they made it too much of a thing of what you, um, what you are visually or what you identify as. Yes. Like, they made it so important, like, that you, that's what defines a person. It has nothing to do with anything. You could take two straight people. They have two completely different worldviews. That has nothing yeah. to do with their character. You yeah. take two gay people too. It has nothing to do with their character. No. It's so stupid. We're, we're regressing. We're becoming, they're saying we're becoming progressive, but becoming more racist and more hateful. Yeah. So, so now what I have to judge people based on what they look like, what they identify as. Are you fucking crazy? That's the, that's the lowest way of judging a human being. Yeah. It means nothing. A million percent. It means absolutely nothing. So yeah, like the essence of spirituality is like a recognition of your connection to like a source, like just being uh, a single, seemingly separate entity that's part of like a harmonious whole or whatever. Uh, so having people fixate on these little identities that we create for ourselves is a very effective way to keep you from re like returning to that source, you know? So like, I'm like Arthur, I do like comedy, I'm a cleaner, narratives, you know, but we just, we keep adding more and more narratives to further di divine ourselves. It's it's like, um, I think for some, it's like an epidemic of uniqueness. Like everyone's yeah. fixated on like, this is, this is who I am. This is what sets me apart from everyone else. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a very effective way to keep people from coming together. I see it. I see it a lot. I see it with comedy. People tell me, oh, I'm not allowed. You cut yourself. People go, I'm not oh, allowed sure. to do. You're biting your fingers. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Besides, you have, oh. 
But oh, uh, I've noticed it in comedy, two people go, oh, you can't do this room because it's uh, X, Y, Z friendly room, but not this. It's all that. Like, right. Everyone's right. just dividing themselves, and then they don't know why everyone's fighting each other. Mm-hmm. Well, you're fighting each other because you're all dividing each other. Yeah. None of it should, if it matters to you, that's that's like a you issue. It's not a them issue. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if it bothers you, if you're like, I can't have this guy on because he's Greek. I can't sure. have that. It's too many gay people. I can't. Have, then you're the issue. You're yep. falling into the whole trap of you're judging people based on what they look like, their sexual orientation, their identity. You're doing what the government is basically doing. Yeah. Whatever the government does, do the fucking opposite, okay? The government is all for n- dividing you. Unity is horrible for the government. Sure. If everyone's united, yeah, yeah, the government's yeah. fucking scared because right. everyone's on the same page and the government's very small. Exactly. So what they do is they make everyone fight each other mm. and they're like, we're going to save you. And they tell everyone separately, I'm going to save you from them. Uh, Don't worry, I'm going to save you from that's them. Right. That's, all, that's yeah. all they do. That's like Trudeau. Trudeau's doing his rounds yeah. right now. Him and Lego, they're coming to Park X this weekend, Poseidon. Uh, I have a funny story about that to tell you after the podcast. Uh, and they're, that's what they do. They're going to go tell the Greeks, hey, hey old Greeksters, I'm going to support you. I'm going to help you. I know the economy is going bad. And we don't know why that is. It's not because I've been in charge for 10 years. Uh, you know, so they, that's what they do. They go and they, they divide and then they conquer. Yeah. It's yeah. it's very people people gotta stop this shit. Every time I hear people fighting over like an identity thing or it's like you fucking idiots. Yeah. You're so easily manipulated. Yes. None of that shit matters. The, the you know who's gonna have your back? Your fucking human neighbor. It's not gonna be the government. Yep. It's your fucking yep. neighbor. So side with them. Don't side with uh th- these cults. A lot of cults, it's very culty. You join something and it's fa- it's like fixated. Like I have to adhere to everything the cult says. Yeah, because the the separate ego wants to attach itself to something bigger, mm. and uh, it's like these fucking people talking about the bloodbath comment. Yeah, that Trump same. Made. Get a fucking hobby, dude. Yeah, get it. What a- are you doing? Who fucking cares? I've used way worse terms than bloodbath to describe shit. Like I, I keep sure. telling people this about hockey. Like when we used to play, we would say stuff like, "Oh, we raped them." You know, let's say we beat them by like six goals. Yeah, sure. No one phys- no one actually sexually physically assaulted anyone. Sure. Which is a term we use as an exag- as for exaggerated purposes. Yeah. Because it was so bad. Yeah. But no one imagine taking that and be like, yeah, we just heard that local Park X uh, hockey team sexually assaulted the Laval <laughs> team. No, that's not what like <laughs> that's not at all what happened. But if you want to take it out of context, and you could just like they're doing to this guy. And the thing is, I don't think they realize that this is. They don't want Trump to win, and they're just helping him win. Because mm. yeah. anyone who looks a bit into it is going to be like, wait a second. So they're charging this guy uh, $500 million bail. Mm-hmm. They're saying because he exaggerated his assets, like to which is what everyone does, by the way, and that's what they do in real estate. It's happening now. You look at a house, the value is... The municipal value is 300000 but they're selling it at seven or 800000 Right. That's the right. same fucking thing. Um, he paid back all his credit. It's not like any bank he owed money to. It's not like, what the fuck? But he's still being charged $500 million for what everyone else is doing. Then you had that woman, Caroline, whatever, who said that um, he raped her. Mm. And he's like, I don't even know this fucking woman. And then her whole story didn't make sense. And then she's like, rape is sexy. People think it's going to oh, be... the bro- disgusting one. Yeah, the disgusting one. And he's like, what the fuck? Like, it's all nonsense. Then she's like, right. uh, they award her cash. And she goes, I'm taking everyone on vacation. We're doing this. And then you have rape victims coming out being like, that's not how we react. Right. That's not right. how we fucking react. Like, oh I don't God. think this will, I think what she said the first time, we should have listened to her when she goes, no, they said it's bad, but rape could be sexy. And it was, and Trump's like, I would never touch this disgusting goblin, you know? <laughs> so all that shit, you look into it and you're like, dude, he's only going to make uh, followers. Because pe- a lot of people who are noted, like, mm, they're too against him. Right. Like the system that's garbage. And he's not good, by the way. He's also trash. It's all part of the same thing. But just the fact that they're so against him makes you think like, eh, maybe he is going to throw a wrench into it. That's how he got voted in the first time. Yeah. The first time people just wanted to throw a wrench into the whole system. Yeah. We say how, like, he's trash also. But you know what? He did a lot of good those four years. Yes. No, no, no. Okay. I, I just meant like as a person, he's still ah, fucking, he's one of, you know, I one of these but, dudes. But, you but could be, yes, uh, yes. Uh, as president, he didn't start a new war. I agree. Yeah. If it wasn't for the pandemic, everything would have even been better. However, he's very it's very div- divisive to have him. Yeah. Because yeah, he yeah. doesn't... His big issue that I have with him is that if you're a leader, you have to find some compromise and be in the middle and try. Mm-hmm. But he's so hard-headed that there's no compromise. Right. right. Like, after you win, you should be like, look, even the people that vote against me, whatever. Let's move forward as a country and let's try to figure out... But it's like, fuck you, stupid. Yeah. I get it. So yeah. It's, yeah. It, it just makes yeah. it hard for everyone to get on the same bandwagon. But apart from that... Uh, I'm not going to lie. He's, he was the best president in the last, what, fucking 30 years, bro. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, good for I him. I see what you mean by uh, he's no good. Yeah, th- that's why as a leader, it's kind of like Trudeau. As a leader, is garbage. Yeah, you know he's incompetent, but also as as a le- like that that whole snobbish. Mm. Everyone's my enemy. They're all terrorists. They're all a- and the second someone's like, "Hey man, uh, can we stop with these vaccine passports?" He's like, "Look at that misogynistic." Uh, right. Transphobe. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? I just said, <laughs> stop with these fucking passports. What does it have to do with being a trans? What are you talking about? But yeah. he's like, because now I'm going to get all them trigger words. All uh, mm. people who are trans, people who are what are going to come with me because these are the enemies. Yeah. He did the same thing yeah. to truckers. Yeah. Yeah. He Truck- called them uh, white nationalists. He called them white nationalist Nazis, all these Sikhs. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, it's right. crazy. All these Indians that's be like, nice what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the white nationalist. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. But this guy didn't give a fuck. Well, they do have the swastika, right? The Indians. <laughs> it's a Hindu symbol. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's a joke. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> Could you imagine you, if that's all it was? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that video? Um, a trans person recently. Have you seen that? Like, I, I don't know. She met at like House of Congress or something, and she was she was supposed to make a speech, and she just screamed for two minutes. Oh yeah. Have you seen this? Yeah. Uh, in passing, because I can't. I get very angry at these things. Yeah, it's very dumb. That's yeah. this generation in a nutshell. Yeah. I'm it making a like difference. That, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See that does, but that's the thing. You get involved with lunatics. Uh, they, they, the, they're they going to, a lot of times, these lunatics, you ser- they take over your whole movement. Yeah. You let yeah. a couple of these crazies in, they take over the whole movement. That's right. Congress uh, meeting, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there it is. Oh, her, oh. Oh, she looks She looks the part. Oh. And it's like I'm a million percent for trans rights, yeah. but, but that's, you see this something doesn't like this, and someone who isn't already going to be in favor of trans people's rights, this could push them over the edge. Yep, I, I said the same thing. Yeah, it's. Uh, I said the same thing. This is. It's always. Uh, they did the same thing to Muslims though after 9/11. The only yeah. thing we would see in the media is uh, the crazy ones. Yeah, and they're like, "Yo, look at these Muslims. They all want to kill you." And then you have people, regular people, who are like. I don't want to fucking kill anyone. Yeah, <laughs> Do you want to put volume? Uh, I have it on. Yeah. I am going to spend. Oh, I have seen the this chick. Yeah. Screaming, because that is what. Yes, yes, yes. Is going on in here. Okay. That is what the trans genocide in this country. Okay, stop right there. City. We have to, dude. Words have lost all meaning. Yeah, to say <laughs> genocide. Is... Holy fucking! This is wow. absurd. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a strong. Yeah, word, and too. especially when you hear the arguments, why is it genocide? Some people refuse to acknowledge me as a man. Right. That's genocide. It's like that is not. You're just making that's, up stuff. That's yeah, not what genocide that's, means. Right. That's but not. George Orwell. The 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 you know the words don't mean anything anymore. They change meanings and shit. Could you imagine if I go to a restaurant, they give me the bill to pay? I'm like, you want me to pay? It's rape. <laughs> like, yeah. if like, what is happening? No. Yeah. And we like we know trans people. Yeah. We talk to them. Of course, <laughs> they're not doing this shit. No, that's what Bro, I'm saying. But what they're not the, the ones who are. Fuck? But a lot of them don't. Uh, a lot of them don't like this. It's like when you talk to old gay dudes. You talk to gay dudes who had to go through it in the 80s. Mm-hmm. They fucking hate all the shit that gay people are doing now. <laughs> They're like, what is this stupid <laughs> shit? Yeah. There's a lot of performative people on this board who will... She just yelled fucking... I'm glad she put her mask on now. Oh, it's back off. Oh. The trans speech has brought me back. Fuck, bro. I hope the aliens are watching. I don't know. No one wants to use a male bathroom that bad. <laughs> no one's doing Here's the best part is no one's doing anything. The arguments, the, the big arguments that are actually debatable mm-hmm. uh, are uh, puberty blockers for kids, which I'm against. Leave kids alone. Yeah, uh, awesome. And then the bathrooms, which are slowly changing. They're just going to have mix. Most bathrooms now are mix. Yeah. Anyway, like the bordel too. It's just, it's just bathrooms. Use a bathroom. It's just about going to whatever fucking. St- it's just stalls and ba- there's no urinals. Yep. They do whatever. Uh, the thing that is weird, Poseidon, though, that ha- that I, I feel like people are doing it on purpose. I don't know if you saw what happened to the the gym, uh, Planet Fitness. Oh in, yeah. In the states, but they did this to themselves, and I think World Gym is gonna do the same thing to themselves here. They lost like I don't know how much billions of dollars in stock because there was dudes basically going like it's like an old man who says I'm a lady. And uh, women were complaining that he was going into locker rooms with them and getting naked. Okay. And they're like, nah, we side with this guy. Fuck you, chicks. And then their stock plummeted. People are like, fuck you, bro. This is a little crazy. Like the guys. Really? Yeah, yeah. 
It's like an old creep. There's that guy. He's not even trying. <laughs> he's not even trying. He's just yeah, crazy. <laughs> he's just a he's just a pervert. Yeah. Basically, that it's like, ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna identify. Oh, this guy's awesome, Jesus. bro. Bro, he's not even trying, bro. At least put on some fucking mascara, bro. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, Patricia he- Silva. Silva. Hey, uh, have you talked to your girlfriend about uh, the gym here? Has she told you anything about the gym here, Poseidon? Yeah. Uh, about the dudes. What, what in- happened? So, like, uh, back in the day, I think there was uh, basically the, the women's locker room and the men's locker room, they were cleaned by that gender. Mm-hmm. So I think now what was happening here was uh, it was just dudes coming in to clean. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, the women, while the women are changing, they're just yeah. walking in. So some women complained, and they said, that's the way it is now. Deal with it. And, I, and my mom even told me, because I, I get her membership there. She's like, I fucking told them, like, why do you have dudes? Like, we're all uncomfortable. All the women get yeah. very uncomfortable that men are coming in and, and uh, while we're changing. And the gym was basically giving my mom attitude. Are you serious? You know, like, get, get with the program. That's how it is now. Yeah, ask, your, ask your girlfriend. Your girlfriend but goes apparently there too. She, yeah, she hasn't uh, seen anything like that. Uh, yeah, not trans. I'm talking about the people cleaning. Yeah, I've seen women cleaning the men's lockers. Yeah, my mom was complaining about men cleaning the uh, the women's lockers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's then they made my mom feel like, oh, she's the problem. Yeah, that's even though all the other women in there were saying the same thing. Right. But no right. one talks. That's the thing. My mom goes and complains, and people are like, thank you for complaining, but you should c- complain too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then they just think everyone's cool with it. Yep. Nothing yeah. happens. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, besides this thing, and apparently Planet Fitness is like their stocks are because pu- women are like, you uh, know they what? Lost four hundred million <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah, women are God like, damn. yeah. Because women are like, you know what? Fuck you, dude. Like, yeah. this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. In, in uh, market, uh, what is it? Market value? Yeah. People sold their. By the uh, way, this also is because they go, well, it's democracy. Well, this is, you're also being undemocratic because the majority is telling you this is making us uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah but yeah, you're ruining true. it for the majority for one dude. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. But, yeah, but the guy is, is the guy is funny for not trying though. That is crazy. Yeah, to not yeah. even put just walks in. Like this is what I identify as. Yeah, because what happens? This is so unbusiness. It's so like so it's so anti-business. But that's the thing. That so large shareholders panic and they go, "Ooh, Planet Fitness might," you know. By the way, this is what woke is. You yeah. know, when they talk about woke, woke is this? It's stupid. It's not progressive. Progressive is one thing. Woke is something else. Woke is like a synonym to a sleep. Woke is just nonsense. Woke yeah. is I'll accept anything because I don't want to offend anyone. And then it just doesn't make any sense. And right. then you know what you end up doing? You end up hurting everyone. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. know who's helped by this. Well, that's the son of a bitch of it all is that trans people grew up in a body that they felt didn't properly represent them. And now they're living in a world where these key figures are misrepresenting them by portraying them as these fucking psychos. lunatics. Yes. Yeah. And they're just fucking people. Yeah. You know? Everyone, Why that's what I'm talking about. What, say? what She's happens? fucking yelling and, you know. Well, but it's always the craziest, person. but that's what, because that's what makes news. Yeah. You're not going to, are you, you're not going to show a trans person who's like, uh, yeah, bro, leave kids alone. Uh, right. Let them develop right. and we'll see you later. You're not going to say that. You're going to see, uh, we have three-year-old, first of all, when they argue, my three-year-old is trans. If your three-year-old is trans, you're mental. Right. Yeah. Because you can't know. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. It's, uh. It's fucking great. You, you're just making it up at this point. You're imagine cutting a kid's dick off, and then the kid. I, I like. I'd yeah. kill my parents. Yeah. 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 If I wasn't. Uh, if are they didn't doing make that? Up. Like what? What age are they? I've seen videos into? where they hold the kid down and it's crying. In the yeah, parents but I don't know. Like, I don't I'm know so how proud of you. I don't know how real that is, bro. Because yeah. because people also want you to fight, so they want you to just hate everything mm. that's like not you. Right. Uh, though I do have a friend. Uh, I'm waiting for him to finish his book. This is an co- old coworker of mine. It was a dude, transitioned to being a woman. Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen him for years. And then he wrote to me on Twitter. He's writing a book about it. He tried to go back because it ruined oh, his wow. life. Okay. And then he wants to talk about it. He goes, it's like a cult. He goes, it's not what you think it is. He goes, because there are people who are trans and they need it. But it's like they push a lot of it. And then if you speak out against it, you're like, no, I don't want to do this all the way. They all come out against you as like a self yeah, or whatever. Right. And he goes, and it, it, they shouldn't do it to kids. They should not. This is terrible. Right. So he's writing a book about how uh, it got very culty. Like, uh, he couldn't, like, it was a struggle for him to get back. He's like, but I wasn't comfortable. It's like, I made the wrong decision. Right. Turns out I wasn't trans. I was just a gay dude. Something like that. Yeah. And, uh, which should, people should be open to listening to his experience. Yes. 
instead of being like, no, you shouldn't fucking say this or whatever. It's crazy. Yeah. It's. Uh, I've been saying this, and I'm gonna. I think this is something I'm gonna die on. They're trying to eradicate reproduction. I think is is their maybe they're trying to trick all of us. I think that's what it is. They're just well, trying to get people. It's not to, a bad idea. It's though. not a bad idea. I mean, and these are the people. These are the death cults that I've been talking for years. Bill Gates yeah. included about how we're too many people. We got to reduce. We got. Yeah. They've openly said that they hate us and they want to kill us. Yeah. That we're too many. They don't like. Hum- they don't love humanity. Right. They don't view us as like how we view ourselves. So why would it shock you that they want to off us? Right. They don't like us. It, and it is like someone most? trying to kill the cancer in their body. Yeah. Though. And we then continue wh- to multiply. We're sucking up resources. There's just too many of us. You know? We say that's, that. I don't know if there's too many of us, though. True. There's too many scumbags. So? Of, no, because it's just the way we do things. So it's kind of what we said about the landfills and the recycling, right? Mm-hmm. It's not that there's too many of us. It's that the stuff that we choose to do are wrong, right? Okay, yeah, I could see that. So let's say, for example, that. we talk about energy. We go, we can't. They lied to us about the um, zero carbon emissions with electric cars. They wanted to push everything to electric. We actually mm-hmm. can't. If we would push everything to electric, we don't have the grids to sustain that power, right? Okay. So we're fighting about all the energy. W- but, you know, uh, there's some, there's another option, nuclear. Nuclear power, mm-hmm. which there's still nuclear power. We use a bit of it. Yeah. But nuclear, we have enough on the planet, uranium, let's say, uh, for these nuclear plants. The power that just a small bit of uranium could give could power these cities for hundreds of years. Like mm. we, a- And there's zero emission. There's no emission. Yeah. So it's just we have to take care of the waste, right? Uh, to make sure that there's no accidents. Mm. So again, that falls on us. Do we want to take responsibility? But we could power, but we don't do it because there's a huge economy behind yeah. what we're doing now, the uh, other alternatives. Right. There's a huge economy behind it. So they don't really care. If you really cared about zero emissions, we'd already start building nuclear plants that would lead to cities and power everything for next to nothing. Right. Or, but you don't do it. See, it's kind of like Canada, what we suffer with um, telecommunications and cable and all that. The reason why we pay the highest on the planet. People make excuses for the government, but mm. what it is, is is communism. It's it's a complete uh, monopoly. Uh, yeah. We've had Verizon try to come in so we can have competition. Mm-hmm. The big three got together, lobbied the government so that we block them. Mm. That's not a free market. Right. And, uh, and they, they negotiate with each other and they keep prices around the same. If you notice, always the same uh, rebates. Just one company has it, and six months later, the other one has it. It's all, mm. but you're always hovering around the same. Why are Indians pay? And then people go, well, it's India. Of course, they pay less. That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Their infrastructure is less uh, advanced than ours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It doesn't It doesn't make any fucking sense why they're all, they, they, they have the same speed of internet. They have the same shit as we do for right. pennies on the dollar. The argument they had for the longest time, and I want to get back to the emissions thing for a second, because yeah. I've been saying something for like four years, and people treated me like a lunatic but then more and more people have come out with it anyways saying the same thing um the, their whole argument about the big three is that oh because canada is really it's a big land mass well, so, 40 we gotta, million people. so we got to build we got to build towers everywhere but that's bullshit because most of the population 90 percent of the population is concentrated around very specific parts very specific that parts. already have these towers exactly to the point where when a new sub company starts because they start their kudo whatever they just piggyback off the existing infrastructure yeah, exactly yeah, that's right. It's, that's right. but people will say stupid shit like that they'll look at the, what about Russia Russia's bigger than us yeah how come they're not paying uh, yeah it's just it, people are fucking they're willing though to accept the, people are willing to accept a lot the bell yeah. the, the bell president uh, i remember at the time when i was working at uh, la source yeah apparently he had to walk around with a security detail and a gun yeah of course they all do god damn no, same thing in the states most of the uh a lot of the anti gun people walk around with armed security <laughs> <laughs> like they tell people you shouldn't protect yourselves but i can that's so, so funny. No, but he actually got death threats because people started hating Bell at some point. Of really course, badly. dude. There's scammers too. Bell, yeah. the, you, if you don't look at your bill, if you don't pay attention, bro, from one month to the next, yeah, it'll yeah, jump. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, we changed yeah, it on yeah, you. Yeah. You have to call. To get, there, it's all scams that we accept as a very polite society. That's exactly it because we live under the threat of homelessness if we don't go along with the mandates. Yeah. Income tax. Your income tax, uh, oh, a tax Jesus on your wages, Christ. is completely legal. 100%. But everyone accepts it. They high five each other, and then they'll make up excuses. You know what? I How found would weird? the roads work? How would first of all, there's sales tax, but also the roads are not built by the government. I hate when people say this. They go, if, if there was no income tax, how would you build the roads? The roads are private companies that build them. The government Trudeau uh, is not paving the road. Right. It's another company that's being paid. 
And it's always mismanaged because it's done by the government. Yes. It would be more worth it if the, the communities themselves would pull resources yeah. together and be like, this is what we're fucking paying you. You get it done or you're not getting paid. That's it's right. like the government with an open checkbook. I have a bit of a, a theory. I think if people don't actually file taxes, I don't think the government has any recourse because they do. Have they, do. they do. They do. Well, look, look, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because they don't care about the law. So, for example, income ta- fe- like income tax, tax on your wages, shouldn't be a thing. It's completely legal. It, it, it should be completely legal in like a modern society. It also was illegal. It wasn't a thing. We did it for, the I think, the First World War. Yeah. And then we, it was supposed to help the oh, war effort. Right? Yeah, and then they just kept it because they're like, we're fucking getting this money. Yeah. So it's all nonsense. I want to, you know, the, the uh, reason why it's, my sentence. The reason why it's, it's theft, Poseidon. Yeah. Do you know why it's theft? Why? Do you know why? I don't. I don't know. It's because it's a direct tax on your uh, on your labor that you already they didn't work for. So yeah. I had an agreement with him. I'm going to give him my productivity. I'm mm-hmm. going to give him my labor. He's going to give me this thing. And now a third party comes in that had no say, didn't work yeah. any of the yeah. hours on the field, That's didn't right. do anything, and they take it from you. And they take it from you without you consenting to it. Yeah. Which means, yeah, hundred percent. It's it's. Uh, which means that you're a slave. Like you're, you have no consent in it, and they just take it from you. Yeah. Well, and then back, you, yeah. Back in agrarian societies, like back in the Middle Ages, you had to pay tithes to the king. So, what was it like? Thirty five percent of your your grain production went straight to the king. Yeah, but the king then didn't turn that fucking land. Yeah. Yeah, but then and turned, that's what we're doing now. He it's protected crazy. you. Hey, I mean, protected yeah. you from invading armies. But now they protect us from ourselves. From they nothing. protect us from them. The, the the whole threat. It's not if you don't pay taxes, you're not gonna get health care. If you don't pay taxes, we're gonna freeze your bank accounts and throw yeah. you in jail. Yeah, yeah. And what's crazy is at the time there was actually an agreement. There was like, look, you work my land, I'll get a cut, and in turn, I'll keep you protected. In, now in, there's not even an agreement. There's not even there's an just agreement. A, like, oh, you worked. Oh. Now imagine <laughs> prison, right? Prison street for people who are dangerous for society, rapists, murders. Mm-hmm. Imagine going to jail because you didn't pay your taxes. They're right? willing to yeah. remove you from society. It's crazy. Jesus. Um, but because we we grew up we grew up with it, a lot of people don't study it. They think it's normal. Right. And then they're, they're told the myth of nothing would work without taxes. What do you, nothing works with taxes. Well, that's what I don't understand is why am I paying provincial tax to subsidize infrastructure and then not getting that fucking infrastructure for free? I yes. pay $100 a month to use public transportation. Yeah. That's a basic infrastructure. Yeah, you're paying for it. Yeah, like twice. And then I buy a fucking banana. It's ninety nine cents. I'm paying an extra twenty five cents on that. <laughs> Isn't that tax? I thought I paid tax. Yeah. And then they get me again. You want to get taxed seventy percent? All in all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're gonna, you're gonna, this, you're gonna hate more. So let's say me, I own my company, right? Mm-hmm. I get money in. I got to pay tax on it. I get now. If I, I let's say there's a, I don't know, a thousand bucks. Yeah. I, it came in, so I'll pay tax on it. Uh, I'll try to buy stuff to try to balance it out or whatever. But if yeah. I pay myself, then the individual Pantelis has to pay tax on that as well. So money that's already been taxed oh, is going to get taxed again. And right. not just, co- it happens to everyone every day. Because let's say I work an hourly job and I worked 40 hours this week, I get a paycheck. The paycheck has been taxed. So let's say I- I'm supposed to get a thousand bucks, I get 500 bucks, right? Yeah. If I give that 500 bucks to you, I'm like, here, I'm going to pay you for something. You're going to have to pay tax on the $500. Mm-hmm. But that money's already been taxed. That's very upsetting. And then if you go to the store with the 300 that you have left because you have to pay tax, yeah. whatever you buy, you're going to get taxed on that as well. <laughs> it's so, But people just nod their head. They go, it's fucking normal. And then what happens? The government gets bonuses. Yeah. They take these trips that cost us half a million dollars. Yeah. They do all this shit and people agree. They go, everything makes sense. Everything is working. Nothing is working. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, that's right. And they're limiting your fucking crop space. We're trying to get this grain. They keep fucking building the fence closer and closer in. Yeah. I don't have enough fucking grain. Crazy. Oh, it's yeah. it's weird nuts. that you're young and, and you're seeing it. Like it's because most a lot of the younger people don't like, because no. it's so ingrained. They just go yeah. with the flow. It's uh, a lot of old, the most people that speak to me about this are older people. They realize yeah. they're like, fuck, like, uh, you know, it was a slippery slope and we didn't realize we're like, ah, we have it good. We have it good. Mm. And then you realize, no, you keep, if you keep giving them an inch, an inch, an inch, an inch, by the end, they've taken a mile yep. and now it's too late. Yeah. Now they're, they're in the house. That's right. That's right. Cause but now they complacency. Bu- it's complacency. And I, I had to speak to the Canadian revenue agency the other day cause they had made a mistake, which they won't admit to, by the way, they're going to charge me like an extra five G's. For their mistake, Jesus. which is fucking crazy. Uh, and everyone I speak to so far, all foreign. I guess there's no more Canadians that want to do that job. Sure. I don't blame them. Uh, it's yeah, crazy. I've been seeing videos of people like I quit. 
Like they were working at the CRA and they're like, I quit. This is insane. Saying their story of how they're understaffed, nothing makes sense. They're understaffed, nothing makes sense. They're tr- they, they, they go, we decided that uh, you owe us more. Mm. I was like, okay. But we're charging you interest as if you haven't paid since like a year when you owed us this. Like, yeah, but you never told me. Right. So you decided now, uh, actually, you should pay this. Okay, I'll pay that if that's the case. Yeah. But you're telling me you're going to charge me retroactive interest. But interest is if I'm refusing to pay or whatever. Yeah. If you let me know, I would have paid. Yep. So it's just little things like that that they fuck around on. It's criminal. Yep. And all on yes. business that I'm doing. Like I'm the one who's producing. Yep. They're not, they're yep. not, they're zero productive. They're not helping in any fucking way. Uh, Jesus. And I'm the bad guy. It's crazy, man. I feel like more people should wake up. Yeah. To this. It's happening. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it on the social media. But what can we do? Man, apparently in the U.S., people are like, there's a large percentage of people that are refusing to file taxes. Yeah, but it's, I don't, I don't know. know it's more di- with their rights, their guns, it might be different here. Uh, I don't know what we can do. Right. You're going to end up, uh, 10 people are going to go to jail, then everyone's going to pussy out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Good news is, we're going to die. Yeah. We're on a little rock in <laughs> space. <laughs> it's crazy when you think about it. We're like slightly more evolved monkeys. Eh. I think. Yeah. We've done this before. You said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we've done this before. Oh, you know who I fo- followed on YouTube and I'm going to, I've become really obsessed with his videos. Because it shows Poseidon how stupid we are now. Yeah. Even though we have all this technology, we're going to kill ourselves. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's the same thing. That's why we find stuff in, like now that like, Egypt, we're like, it's fucking older than we thought. Yes. It's probably because we did do crazy things yeah. and then we fucked it all up again. Yeah, they they have found tools dating back like ten thousand years prior to when we thought we had tool making capabilities. It's yeah, I wouldn't because history is cyclic. You know, we just continue to relive these same patterns. It would make sense if we experienced a mass extinction event. We're back, we're gonna fuck it up again, yeah. and then maybe maybe yeah. the next maybe it's just like iterations of humankind, and with each iteration, we become a little better. Yeah, a l- but it's so it's minute. Hard to believe, but yeah, it, it might be that. Yeah. I'm not saying it is. I don't know. I, but I, I we're followed, so stupid. I could see it. Yeah, yeah. go on. I followed Billy Carson on YouTube. I'm, I'm obsessed with his videos. Lately. The black guy. Yeah, I don't know about him. I no, I I look. I don't know either. Because he speaks about um, theories and myths as if it's a matter of fact. He'll exactly. Like, that's what that's I don't. Dangerous. Yeah, because he'll, yeah. he'll say stuff that we know, like you know, and the sun is bright, and you're like, I agree, the sun is bright, <laughs> and then he'll be like. <laughs> Juan Tutu uh, took over the world when he... And I was like, what the oh, fuck are yeah. you talking about, bro? That's what bothers yeah, me about like him. <laughs> that's what, that's yeah. what bothers me about him because he speaks as so matter of fact. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, it's so interesting. That it I'm, is interesting. I'm He's so a very curious. good speaker. Yeah, I'm so curious. Where, but I'm taking everything with like a grain of salt. Just yeah. to be like, I'm taking it from an entertainment perspective. Oh, then you're, you're golden. The guy's a very good speaker. Yeah, good yeah. storyteller. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Arthur, I got your links in the description so people can oh, follow you. you. Uh, you're always uh, doing comedy in Montreal. What's your favorite place to do comedy in? Third Floor Comedy Club. And the if best. you guys get a chance, he is on uh, whenever he wants. He's available for the late show. So Friday nights at 11, you never know. You might come by and catch yourself some Arthur Sim or a Poseidon or myself or who else has been. Uh, Chris Ramsey has been on that. Uh, Harley Mornstein, uh, Georgia Silly, Ammer. Just a good lineup all the time. It's just Incredible. always different, always fun. Hattie was there last week too. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's a great show. Great so show. Check out the links in the description. Arthur, thank you for being here, dog. Thanks for having <laughs> me. We built this prison cell because we can't trust ourselves. Critically ashamed in all our faith.